That was probably top 10 worst practices of my life. No. Yeah. No. Performance wise. No. Yeah. You're good. The trifecta this morning. Blake P. Lila King. The OG3. Is it hot? Oh no. Oh, Blake beat me in. Oh, it's like bath water. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, we're not gonna die today at all. Oh wow. I didn't have any coffee this morning. No caffeine. Because our espresso machine, when you push the button, it grinds the beans. Yeah. And it's really loud. Wake up the and kids. It, 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 yeah, we don't want to wake up the kids, no. exactly. So I didn't have any in. I can feel it. Main set today. I am focus. It's, I don't know what really to say. There's a lot of butterfly. It's gonna be a lot of struggling. It's a really it's a, nail in the coffin. First it's round. A, yeah, it's a doozy. I started watching Grey's Anatomy. Oh, you're all in. Girl, Allie's been watching Suits. Every time I come home, she's I watching like Suits. suits very much. I tell you what, it's really hot in here because they haven't been properly it's, cooling the pool. It's also been 97 degrees. And it's been like 97 degrees outside. Let's go. Upper 80s. You think it's upper 80s? I'd say it's like 84. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking 84. So it can't be upper 80s. We'd, be, we'd legitimately be dead. We'd be roasted. Even Blake left early. I thought. Exactly. All right, everyone's leaving early. Uh, Totally not tired. Is there a preset? Yeah. Oh my god, we have two more fifties. Wow. I no one's brain is working. I was just giving Lily. What'd you say? What is it? No way. Eighty-four. Oh. Eighty-four. You mean I called it to the degree. One oh four? To the degree. That's how it's done. Six AM. Hot. My brain is mush, but my biological instincts firing on all cylinders. So the preset. Parachutes, equipment, paddles, fins. Oh. To my non-swimming audience members, typical pool temp, 79, 80 degrees. We're five degrees over that. Doesn't seem like much, but it's 78. Lily says 78. But that's the difference between heaven and hell, right there. Just go your best 50 time and then double it for 100. It's that easy. <laughs> I don't remember if I explained the set. My brain is mushy. I'm gonna put it up right there. There's a lot of butterfly. I don't think so. How about parachute? Think about it. This is. I think after the first shot, we'll be okay. No, I like your optimism. But beautiful. One oh two. Nice shot, Blake. One oh eight. Oh, I almost had him. Right Godspeed non breaststrokers. I believe in you. I have faith in you. Don't feel like you're being singled out. I got 112.9. Oh, go, Blake, go. Is he going to get Lily? Oh, it's close. Go, Blake. Lily. Oh. I think Lily got the touch. That hurt. Okay. This is the train wreck of all time. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I probably won't beat Blake on the Hunter Free, but I can give Ching a good race. But I, didn't think I, I see her over there. The Cody Ching rivalry has been good. Ching, if you beat me, you're making it in the vlog again. Two lanes over. Our Singapore All Star. Ching and I have been battling out our distance practices today. Cody trying to beat up on women. Hug <laughs> okay, She's really fast. I wanna know who wins, me or Ching. I'm, I'm watching her close. Okay. Here we go. All right, Ching. We're going to give you a side view of Cody and Ching. Cody's off to a fast start, but we all know how Ching can close down races. Lily King bringing up the rear here. Blake Peroni out to a commanding lead. Cody is not flipping first, it's Ching. Cody has a nice kick out there. Ching is eyeing Cody. There is no chance Ching gives up this lead. He's making a late run. Will Ching be able to hold Cody off? Down to the wire, to the touch! It's Ching! Ching with the victory! 
She got me. I will be getting my rematch soon, and I want to talk to you about all the beef with Swimming Australia, all the shit talking. I've got a lot that I want to dive into, but first, I want to take a moment to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. If you haven't heard, BetterHelp is on a mission to make therapy more affordable and more accessible to everyone. To me, therapy is incredibly important. I myself have benefited tremendously from utilizing therapy, from talking to a licensed professional, and you know, with, with athletics, if I have a shoulder injury, I'm gonna go see my physical therapist and get my shoulder worked out. If I've got something in my brain that I can't stop thinking about that is affecting other areas of my life, I've gotta go talk to somebody and fix that in the same way that I would fix this shoulder problem. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's all online, it's remote. You just fill out a few questions and then BetterHelp can match you with your own professional therapist in just a few days. It's super easy to get matched with a therapist. There's a link in the description below. It's betterhelp.com slash Cody Miller. That's betterhelp.com slash Cody Miller. If you're struggling, seek help. It's the right thing to do. Or if you're just looking for a competitive advantage, this is a great tool as well. Clicking that link down below helps support me and this YouTube channel. And it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. You can change therapists at any time. It's very flexible. Give it a shot. And now on to the shit talking of the country of Australia. <laughs> if you can call it that. Recently, Australian swimmer Kate Campbell, four-time Olympic gold medalist Kate Campbell, kind of trashed Team USA in their response to not winning the gold medal count at this year's World Championships. If you just read the quotes from the interview, it's, it's pretty awesome, it, it's bad. She says, Americans are sore losers. Australia coming out on top of the world is one thing, but it's just so much sweeter beating America. The first night of competition, we did not have to hear the Star Spangled Banner ring out through the stadium. I cannot tell you how happy that made me. If I hear that song again, it will be too soon. Bring on Paris, Team USA stop being sore losers. I personally really love this. If you watch the interview, she says it with a little tongue in cheek. There's definitely some sarcasm. There's some humor to it. I believe she means what she is saying. I believe that what she was saying was being honest, but it wasn't like a super malicious, it wasn't It wasn't said with venom. I believe Kate Campbell's comments are good for the sport because we need that rivalry, we need that friction, we need there to be a reason for people to care. For example, most Americans know who Michael Phelps is. Some Americans know who Katie Ledecky is. That's all they know about swimming. Their knowledge of swimming ends there. I have neighbors in this small town in Indiana where I live who don't follow swimming at all. Wouldn't watch swimming if it wasn't on the Olympics. They know that swimming is on the Olympics every few years. That's the only time they watch it. But a few weeks ago, I had a neighbor who I rarely talk to stop me on the side of the road to talk to me about the Australian swimmer who is talking trash. That person is now invested and paying attention to other swimmers and competitions, which they never would have done before. And that only happened because Kate Campbell talked a bunch of trash about Team USA, and that went kind of viral. These things are good, and you know, I think they're fun. We in the world of swimming tend to lean a little too much into the sportsmanship. I'm not saying sportsmanship is bad. In fact, it's important, it's, it's, it's a good thing. But you need some clashing, you need some rivalry, you need some anger, you need to give people a reason to care. Which as much as I really don't like Sun Yang of China, take it, as much as I don't like him and his cheating and his doping and all that stuff, that brought a lot of eyeballs and got a lot of people to care because of that crazy doping scandal, because of all that controversy. Way more people paid attention to swimming because of that. So sometimes things like this, when it comes to just saying words like, hey, you suck, sometimes it, it's a good thing. <laughs> more importantly, what do you all think? Am I crazy? Should everyone just shake hands, be nice, and hug after the race regardless? Let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Thank you all for joining me today. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Share my videos with your summer friends. That really helps me. Normal stuff. If you'd like a personalized video from me to you or someone you know, for whatever reason, I am available on Cameo. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Ooh.